So now we will be going over dividing decimals. Here we have 31.773 being divided by 5.1. So let's set this up using long division. We have 31.773 on the inside being divided by 5.1. And the one thing that you have to remember and I wrote this for you in green, you have to get rid of the decimal in the outside number. So we have an outside number of 5.1. We need to get rid of this decimal in the outside number. So basically we have to push this decimal point as far right as possible. In this particular example, we only can push it over one space. And whatever you do to the outside number, you have to do to the inside number. So since we moved our outside decimal one space to the right, we have to do the same thing to the inside decimal. So now, since we move both decimal points one space to the right, our 5.1 becomes a 51, and our 31.773 becomes 317.73. So 31.773 divided by 5.1 is exactly the same as 317.73 divided by 51. So now I'm just going to give myself a little bit more space and erase this on the top. And I'll move this a little farther up. So now that we got rid of the decimal in the outside number, we can just divide this using normal long division. So let's just get started right away. 51 goes into 3 zero times since 51 is bigger than 3 so we'll move to the next digit 51 goes into 31 zero times since 51 is bigger than 31 so we'll move on to the next digit 51 goes into 317 how many times well we know that 50 goes into 300 six times so I'm going to guess that 51 goes into 317 about six times so now if we multiply the 6 times 1, we get 6, and 6 times 5 is 30. And if we subtract the two numbers, we get 7 minus 6, which is 1, and 1 minus 0, which is just 1. And I'll bring down my 7. So 51 goes into 117 how many times? Well, we know that 50 goes into 100 two times. So I'll guess that 51 goes into 117 about two times. And 2 times 1 is 2. And 2 times 5 is 10. So 7 minus 2 is 5. And 1 minus 0 is just 1. And bring down my 3. And before I go any further with this example, I want to place our decimal point our decimal point just needs to move straight up so it goes directly in between the 6 and the 2. So now how many times does 51 go into 153? Well, we know 50 goes into 150 three times, so I'll guess that 51 goes into 153 three times as well. 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 5 is 15. So 153 minus 153 is 0. So we have a remainder of 0, which means that we can stop. So now we divided 31.773 by 5.1, and we have a final answer of 6.23. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.